Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. Chilling out, man. Um, I'm not going to be before you guys long. I just want to talk about Aisha Curry. And I want to talk about how pathetic her behavior was on the on the talk show. And um, I had read an article. And it says that, Steph, that um, Stephen Curry's wife, Aisha Curry... Um, was taking her ring off when she seen this shirt, this stripper uh, coming, walking on the stage uh, with drinks. I feel like this, man. Um, Aisha Curry been doing been doing a lot of dumb stuff for years, man. And at some point, Aisha, when you gonna show this man some respect? And I would say this, man. I ain't even want to say nothing. But I don't think she really loves Steph Curry like she portrays she does. Because if she really loves Steph Curry, she would not pull stunts like that on national TV. That man has given you a great life. That man loves and adores you. But I'm going to say this. A woman will never love a man they don't respect. They will never love you if they don't respect you. And let's just keep it real. Um, when Aisha went to Winnington High in Charlotte, and you know, Steph went to Charlotte Christian, right? Um, the prom when they when Steph and Aisha Curry's prom, I think it was what 2006. You know that Aisha Curry went to the prom with another guy and not Steph and Steph had asked her cause y'all cause they went to the same church too so that goes to show you but when her acting career failed right and she knew that she won't get no more acting gigs that's when she started dating Stephen Curry cause she seen Stephen Curry not for love but for, for a come up like, come on, man. Let's just be for real. And I say this all the time, right? That she didn't have time for him when when he was a regular guy going to Charlotte Christian. But as soon as he had that monster junior season where he led the Davidson to the Elite Eight, and she knew her own, because she was doing, like, Disney shows, because basically she's a failed act- actress, and once she seen that the acting career was over, and she knew Steph always liked her, right? That's when she started. That's when she started to date him, because she knew that she that once he get to the NBA, she knew he's gonna be he's gonna be wealthy. And that's what it's all about. I think it's really about the money. It's not about love. I mean, I hate to say that, but let's just tell the truth. Because the way she was acting when that dude walked on the, on the stage like that. You you pretending you portray on Instagram that you love your husband and but actions speak louder than words. When that man walked on the stage like that and she was thirsting, you don't do that, man. You don't do that in front of national TV. And you know there's millions of warrior fans. There's Steph Curry has a lot of fans. And how you think they're going to feel when they see you thirst after a man like that? Because you don't respect him. You don't really... I don't really think Steph Aisha Curry is really there for love. She's there for what she can get out of him. And the first thing you're going to think, well, okay, well, he leave, but he got three kids. <laughs> that divorce settlement ain't going to be easy either. But I don't think it's going to go that far, but I just think that that he needs to get his wife in check. That she's been doing dumb stuff, dumb, dumb things like this for years. And it's just, a woman will never love you if they don't respect you. She clearly do not respect Steph Curry. As great as he is on the court, he has to be, he has to be a man at home. Because she obviously liked what she saw on that stage. And I feel like if... There's an old song by Atlanta Hawk, Atlanta Star, I said Atlanta Hawks, by Atlantic Star called If Your Heart Ain't In It. You know, if her heart ain't in it, 
Why be with somebody you don't want to be with? You gonna go try to take your ring off the stage because you see somebody walk on the stage? So you gonna blow everything you got for some 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 strip on the stage? I just feel like her heart is not in it. Her heart was never in it. I think it was all about the money and the fame. It really wasn't about stuff. I hate I hate saying that, but we got to tell the truth. That Aisha Curry ain't got no class, man. She ain't got no class. That was totally disrespectful. Now he needs to put his wife in check, or he needs to leave her. Because at the end of the day, even nobody, no man needs to be disrespected like that. It was totally embarrassing. I felt embarrassed for him. That how much more embarrassment he's going to keep taking. If she wants to be single. If she wants to be single. Then they need to get divorce proceedings. Because that's embarrassing. You don't embarrass your, your, your husband like that. I, I just want to speak on that. That. You know, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm thinking about this too, though. If you think about this, it just shows you that in a way that Steph Curry was kind of desperate, that you would marry a girl that rejects you from going to the prom. That, that, I don't, I don't get that, man. How could you marry somebody that you went to the same church, you knew her, he wanted to take her to the prom, she told him no. I understand it, man. Do you wonder why she keep disrespecting you? Because she don't really like you. I don't think she really likes stuff like that. Because she would not keep disrespecting that man like that. As much as I talk, you know, about LeBron or whatever, right? One thing I get Savannah credit. Savannah, Savannah James don't never disrespect her husband. Because, you know, you don't see... You don't see... You know, that's one thing I give Savannah James credit. She never, she don't go on TV shows. She don't do all that. She She's the, the loving wife at home. Why can't Steph's wife do that? Why Steph's wife, Steph wife just want attention so bad? You got a, 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 a rich man that loves you to pieces. You know how many women would kill to have Stephen Curry. And you just, I just, she don't appreciate it. And I felt bad for him. I felt like, come on, Steph, you can do better than that. She on, that's your wife on stage, on stage, um, thirsting over a man like that on national TV. That was totally disrespectful. And then her ass need to be called out on that shit, man. That shit is not right. That at some point, when is Stephen Curry gonna get some damn balls? That she been doing, she been doing this shit for years. Excuse my French. But it, it's just, I think it's time that he gotta grow a set of balls. And say, look, if you're gonna keep this, if you can't, if you can't stop disrespecting me, I don't think we need to be together. But that's it. That's all. Tell me what y'all think. I'm out. <laughs>